I am moving out of the house I've been in for over 4 years. This has been a special time for me. Before then, YouTube was a dream. Since then, it's been my reality, and I've had no one to blame but myself for how I've done. Since early 2015, 3 Clicks Philip and 2 Clicks Philip subscriber counts have gotten 10 times greater, and this Clicks Philip channel has become 25 times larger. When I arrived at this house, all of my stats were booming. I came in with a bang, so it's somewhat fitting to go out with a whimper. 3 Clicks Philip's views and subs have been hit hard by the closure of the YouTube gaming app, and how CSGO hasn't been updated in almost a month. 2 Clicks Philip's actually losing subscribers and this channel continues to faithfully trundle on despite being sorely neglected. But you know what? Downturns like this are what give me the motivation and incentive to shake things up and to try something new. When you're doing the same thing day in day out, it's important to mix it up in any way you can. It's a battle between you and your brain, with you trying to get things done and your brain finding any opportunity to cut corners and to get lazier. I used to give myself monthly challenges, like producing a 2 and 3 clicks Philip video every 3 days, or releasing 45 minutes worth of content in a month on a particular channel, and, and so on. I more recently started making… operations. If a channel was performing poorly, I'd come up with a bundle of video ideas I knew would be popular, and would get them out within a certain time frame. The one I'm currently working on is called… Operation Underwhelm, and from my YouTube stats, it's pretty clear that it's a success because they're underwhelming. Let's delve a little more deeply. I've been busy these last few weeks, I've spent very little time at home, and what with me moving house, I don't see myself getting any extra time soon. All the other projects like editing holiday footage and clearing out my hard drives in preparation for my next batch of videos are also accumulating. I'm in a messy state right now. Operation Underwhelm doesn't have high hopes. It's to get at least one video out a week for each of my channels, and to ensure that they're all the videos that I don't think will be popular but that I know I have to do. I'm impressed I've even managed to get a video out a week. It's been a stretch. I made my 3 clicks Philip face reveal video while sat in a hotel room in Cologne. I uploaded that in 4K over a free Wi-Fi connection, just to say I got a video out. But I knew before I did it that it would cause more harm than good. Launching a short video has always damaged my channel's stats until the next video is released. It's not just the short video that performs poorly, the YouTube algorithm seems to hide the entire channel and subscriber numbers drop. These past few years I've been better off releasing nothing at all, or sticking only to a few super long and popular video ideas a month. Regular content hasn't ever worked out for me. The video after that short face reveal was my Cologne 2019 video. This is the kind of video that helps a small number of people immensely, but it has never been a popular topic and the view and sub numbers for that have been disappointing as well, but it was important to get that video out there. I met so many people at the event this year who said that my video from last year helped them so I ensured that I had an even more informative video ready for people attending next year. Over onto 2 clicks Philip now, and he's still concluding the odd grub content, and then he'll move on to something else. Somewhat similar to 3 clicks Philip's Cologne video, the making of 2 clicks Philip's producing appeal a large amount to a small number of people. It's because of this, and because he's done barely anything but Skyrim content for the last year, that 2 clicks Philip is seeing so many people unsubscribing, and this will continue until the making of series is done, and until other content is released for the channel. I've said before that Skyrim videos were a passion project, but the making of series is more than that, it's an investment, and one that makes the main Skyrim series more financially viable to produce. The main Ogre video will continue to gain views. Give it a year or so and I'd be surprised if it stopped short of a million. From that, a percentage will be interested in seeing the making of. I'm getting that series out there and viewable now, because it multiplies the number of views 2 clicks Philip generates from a single viewing of the main Ogre video. Say I make 5 making of episodes. That's up to 6 views for the price of 1. The question is, how's best to release it? Should I launch all of the making ofs together and then move on to other stuff? Or should I release them occasionally between other content to reduce how much I annoy subscribers who aren't interested in 2 clicks Philip Skyrim content? Since it's Operation Underwhelm, I'm going to get all of the making ofs out there as soon as possible, immensely annoying 2 clicks Philip's subscriber base, but only for the minimum amount of time. Let's lose all the subscribers I'm going to lose from it now and then prepare for a boom in popularity as I move on to other stuff again, unhindered by this niche, older series. And it's been liberating for me to do this. 2 clicks Philip may be bleeding subscribers, but I feel this drop is controlled and time limited, and that I'm losing the people who I don't mind losing the least. Like I've said, the content will change and the situation will hopefully change with it. In terms of normal YouTube measurements, the Ogrub series has been a failure. Rather than 30 2 clicks Philip videos, I invested all of my time into 3 Skyrim ones. 
The view and sub numbers started very strong with the first video and have dropped off with the second and third. I've already said in every way possible how I don't care about it and how I make these videos for myself, how the series has helped me to develop as a YouTuber and so on. But what I didn't expect was the community's response. I expected positive, but I wasn't anticipating quite so many kind and thoughtful comments. Ones that have clearly had some love put into them, expressing how much the videos have meant to them. I've started getting memes and fan art posted on my subreddit with Ogrub and Lydia in them. It's evident that these Skyrim videos have left a lasting impact on the people who have watched it, possibly more so than the 30 normal videos that I could have made instead, and I am so happy to see that. That degree of goodwill has to help my YouTube career in some way, even if the YouTube stats say otherwise. Annoyingly, after years of very few promotions or sponsored videos, a few good opportunities have come my way, and I wonder if the current state of my channels is going to work against me getting them. What are companies going to think when they see my channels and they appear to be dying at an alarming rate? But are my channels dying? Or is this just a temporary blip? Are my channels shedding their excess before coming back more streamlined and stronger for it? I don't know. I'm still working on Operation Underwhelm for now. And damn am I doing a good job of it.